Dad. Yeah, hey. I'm sorry to bother you. I know you're busy all the time. Oh, I mean, it's not a bother. Listen, I was packing up all that stuff, and I packed up all Mom's stuff in the boxes, and uh, all the painting stuff went with it, you know? Do you want it? I don't paint, Dad. You really should paint, you know? You got plenty of talent. I can't. It just... It reminds me of her, okay? I mean, I understand that, but if you ever do want to paint... You let me know, because I think she'd like you to have her stuff. I'll think about it. What is it you're doing now, anyway? I'm about to go paddle out and shoot some. Who's going out there with you, anyway? Jason. <laughs> Just you and Jason, huh? Uh, actually, there's a makeup artist with us. Her name's Megan. Jason said they're pretty good friends. OK, nice and professional, eh? <laughs> Where exactly are you going to go to take these photos? Just that same little spot. All right, well, you're going to make sure you're checking the weather, right? Yeah, it's good. I mean, we've been there hundreds of times, so. Listen, I know you're a water baby, but, you know, it, it is the ocean, let's face it. It's a bay, Dad. And if the weather gets bad, then we'll just turn around and come back. It'll be fine, all right? Um, but I got to go. We're, we're about to load up. All right, well, be careful. Thanks. Listen, have fun, OK? Please remember, I love you and I miss you. You too. when I was 12. <laughs> you ate this when you were 12? You didn't? No, I had Slim Jims. I tried to find Slim Jims. This is all they had. You know what's in Slim Jims, right? No, not really. Have you ever heard of Soylent Green? Yeah, I like the drink. We're losing points here. <laughs> the 1973 classic with Charleston Heston. Soylent Green is people. People, OK. So that's why, uh, that's why it tastes so good. They're gross. <laughs> You're grosser. Ugh. <laughs> Sarah, meet Megan. Megan, meet Sarah. Thanks for the introduction. We actually met once before. Our last photo exhibit, you said something like, um, our photos look like painting. Oh, yeah! yeah. Painting with light. <laughs> wow, you have a great memory. <laughs> Wouldn't forget it. <laughs> great. I didn't know you guys had met before. There's a lot of people that show. Well, Megan showed me her portfolio, and her makeup work is awesome. Huh. Yeah, I actually checked it out online. Nice work. Great. All right, we're all awesome then. Yeah. Hey, listen, guys, I know we planned on going back to that uh, island just past uh, Coogee Basin, but I wanted to pitch another option. You know that hurricane that tore through the Keys last month? Well, it rearranged all the channels leading into Florida Bay. And I've been speaking to some fishing buddies. They told me that a submerged rock formation is now above water in the channel, in the Outer Banks. I promise you, the shots will be sick. We'd be the first to capture it. They say it looks like the Bahamas. It's just a little further out. But if we leave now, we can be there and back by nightfall. How much further out? Well, it's just past Cuba, so I guess that's Shut maybe... Up. No, I mean, where we're headed, I would say maybe another hour beyond that. So three hours? Yeah. How do you know if it's still above water? Well, my buddies were there two days ago. It's mostly underwater, but with these peak tides we're having, it should be high and dry for at least two or three hours during low tide. Wouldn't it be awesome to be the first to capture an entirely new island? Huh? I'm in. Ah, good. Me too. Great, great, okay. Hey, phone, you want it in the dry bag? Uh, I'm probably just gonna hang on to it, but thank you. Uh, well, okay. these are the things that cannot get wet. I thought you said your makeup was waterproof. Well, 
It is, but my kid's not. Okay. All right, guys, let's hit the water. We gotta make our window. Let's go. All right, ladies. Tide cycles are at peak highs and peak lows. We gotta get in, get what we need, get out, float those back underwater. Fortunately, with a photographer like myself and a stellar makeup artist like you, a couple hours would be more than enough. Forgetting someone? <laughs> oh, yeah. Our uh, subject. Yeah, yeah. She's all right. But you know, with all that natural beauty in the environment, the model doesn't matter much. You, uh, you're gonna shoot me in silhouette, right? Silhouette? Yeah. Actually, the whole thing's not gonna even be in focus. That sounds about right. Ouch. <laughs> Guess you don't need to make order. Oh, no. No. We, uh, we definitely need you. You know, even in silhouette, she's gonna need as much makeup as possible. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay! Okay, all right. All right. Enough fun. Jeez, we gotta get there. Keep paddling, ladies. Keep paddling. Sarah, I saw you on your phone earlier. Is that your dad? Yeah. How's he doing? Okay, I guess. He's definitely not used to being alone. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. My mom passed away about a year ago, but we knew it was coming, so we were prepared. I, I mean, as well as anyone can be. I'm so sorry. Thanks. It's not easy. She was... She was one of a kind. Just like her daughter. An artist, right? Her dad is a bush pilot, flew all over the world. He was delivering medicine in Botswana. He's in the Air Force. Not the Air Force. What was it then? 
Civil Air Patrol. Yeah, that's part of the Air Force. No, it's it's different. They're volunteers. Right, volunteer. So he's a superhero. Did he ask about me? Actually, he did. <laughs> yes, see, superhero. I've never been this close to dolphins before. Whoa. Dude, look at that. That dolphin is really beat up. What do you think did that? Maybe a bow? No, no, no. These are bottlenose. I mean, they're the bad boys of the ocean. Who knows who they're hustling with? It looks like bite marks. Yeah. Making good time, ladies. Let's take five. Wait. <sighs> How much further do you think? Let's say around two hours. See, this is the time I think I would have loved to pitch into a motorboat. <laughs> okay, planet killer. Right? Look, I mean, this can be pretty dodgy around here, especially if you don't know the area. I mean, you got reefs, oyster bars. You gotta be careful. Yeah, honestly, even the Coast Guard takes it easy in the backwater. And didn't you say you're a monster with the paddle? Yeah. <laughs> Not this kind of paddle. <laughs> okay. Okay. What? <laughs> a little. So this is our usual spot, but the rock formation we're going to be shooting at today is just a little bit further south, towards the reef. It's going to be worth that extra mile. Um, will you, will you put this in your dry bag, please? Certainly. Glad to see you've come around. Behave. Hey, hey. <laughs> what? All right, guys. Almost there. And here we are. Look at this place. Doesn't this look great? I don't know. Looks like a cement block with barnacles. We're not going for pretty. We're going for unique. The shot's going to be awesome.
That's what we want to hear. All right, let's get this show on the road. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm going to get the Ooh. camera. You guys do makeup. Uh, well, you got my wrap? Yeah. Sit right there. Yeah. Perfect. OK. Uh, oh, what are you thinking? I'm thinking, let's keep with the natural look. I like it. Okay. I have a natural beauty about you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Yeah. OK, let's see. Do you want to dry it or do you want to clean it? I like it a little wet. What do you think? Yeah, it's nice. Damn, a beautiful mermaid. I'm serious. And then with the wrap to your waist, it'll be perfect. Yeah, I dig it. All right, let's do some shoots. Nice. Yeah, that's it. Look at that light. Nice, looks good. Can you turn a little bit that one? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, hold on a sec. I wasn't expecting you to invite me out here. Why not? It's awesome. Thank you. I know, it's just the whole Sarah. I know. Well, look, Sarah and I are friends, good friends. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. It's not like that. I just don't want to get in between anything. There's nothing there, not anymore. I... Uh, look, Sarah and I, we, we were together for a while. And it was special, but it's not special in the way you think. I care about Sarah, and her family means the world to me. You know, I admire her and her dad. I was with them when her mom had her illness. You know, it almost broke their family. Okay? I'm really happy that you came. Okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm so happy to be here. I just want... I just want to make you sure you can do what you want and yeah. you're cool. You know what I want to do? I would love for us three to make some really cool art together. Me too. I actually have that same one at home. No kidding, right? Mm -hmm. Check this one out. The lighting is so dope. You want to get down a little bit? Yeah, yeah, that's it. I'll grab the GoPro. Do you mind holding this? I don't mind at all. Thank you. Okay. You all right? Yeah, that's going to be good. Looking good. She's nice. Well, Megan? Yeah, she's cool. I, uh... I don't know much about her makeup credentials, but I can <laughs> definitely see why you would want to bring her along. I and mean, you guys seem like you're getting along really well. Yeah, she's cool. We uh, we hung out after uh, after the last gallery. You left early. Yeah, I honestly think she could be a really good fit for you. We're uh, we're we're doing Matchmaker now. That's an interesting switch. No, I'm not. I'm not playing Matchmaker. I'm just making an observation. An observation. Okay. Well, what do you see now? What do you observe? I observe that we should probably just keep shooting. Sarah. What? All I'm saying is that if you ever did decide to move on, I would be happy for you. Yeah. All right. Are we good? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Underwater shots? Yeah. Let's go for it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo!
time to make one call why would your dad be the one to call he will figure it out if there's anybody that can do this it's him but my battery is dying and i still don't have signal okay your dad doesn't know we're here we changed our plans remember he will figure it out okay i need you to trust me you're supposed to call 911 you're not supposed to call your daddy okay we call 911 911 calls the coast guard they call the Navy and they call Civil Air Patrol. Either way, it ends up on his desk for search and rescue. So I need you to trust me because I just got signal and I'm calling my dad. Yes, hello. Dad, 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 listen, it's me. Dad, I don't have a lot of time, but we're stranded. We're, we're on this um this rock formation, and we didn't go to the island that we normally go to. We, we're like an hour off of Kujo Key. And Dad, Jason died. It was a shark. Wait, wait a second. Jason's dead. Yes. This thing is circling, and, and the tide's coming, and I don't... We're not safe here. Are you okay? We're here, we're on land, and Dad, the tide's rising a lot faster than I thought. I think we have like, I don't know, like 45 minutes. Half that long, and this phone's gonna die, and I just, I just need you to tell me that you're gonna find it. Honey, listen, you're doing good. I'll get on the Civil Air Patrol. Okay. Cell phone forensics team can get a bead on your location. Stay where you are as long as you can. Yeah, we're, we, we'll stay here, but Dad, the, the water, the water's rising. The tide's coming in so much faster than we thought. Okay. Are there any other islands around or any place else you can go? Um, yes, I saw one. I saw one on the way in here. I don't, I don't know where it is, but I can find it. Listen, just stay there as long as you can. <gasps> it's coming back. It's What was 
was that? Are you we're okay? fine, we're fine. Just please promise me. Honey! Dad! It's something. Listen, yes, I've tried. I've tried to get her back, but it goes straight to voicemail. Do you have enough data to pinpoint her location? Cell phone forensics is analyzing the pings from their phones provided by the cell phone carrier. As you were saying, it appears the phones are off now. With the limited data we do have, I can't get exact GPS coordinates. But by tracking the direction of the pings from when their phones were on, it appears you're right from what you were saying. It seems to be they're traveling towards the outer islands of the Florida Bay, the Cujo Basin. Right, so it looks like they were heading to those outer islands that I was telling you about. All the initial pings line up heading to those islands, except the last one, which was a little off, which could be an anomaly. With only one local tower, it's hard to get an exact GPS location. How confident are you of the accuracy of the cell phone data? Unfortunately, the cell phone forensics team won't be able to pinpoint their exact location. With only one local tower in that area, it's more of a wilderness area. If there were three local towers, we would be able to triangulate their location. We are basing it on what we have and what you told us about their destination. Okay, got it. The other issue is because of the single tower, reception becomes an issue. There's no full coverage in that basin. If they venture in an area without reception, even our limited tracking is impossible. What is the ETA on getting a decision on who's available? I'll have an answer by 0300 hours. That's got to be faster than that. That area is affected by tidal flow. I hear what you're saying. We'll have an answer pronto. And I will get eyes in the sky as soon as possible. OK, then I'll call her back soon. Now let me know if the cell phone forensics team can get a better idea on their location. OK, thanks. We'll do our best to find her, James. I'll be in touch. It's Sarah. Leave me a message and I'll call you back. Honey, I guess your phone is off. I got you through Civil Air Patrol. We're working on trying to get a lock on your location. It won't be exact, but close enough to narrow down the search. We're going to send up a spotter plane within one hour. I hope you're all right. Don't worry. Help is on the way, so call me. I love you. Are coming in fast again. I noticed. What are we gonna do? Look for higher ground. I'm not getting back in that water. I'm not. I'm not doing it. Look, where we stand will soon be underwater, and we won't have a choice. Maybe we just stay here. Someone will find us, and we want to get back in that water with the shark. That'd be great, but we can't argue with the reality of the situation we're in right now, which is that this island is going under fast. So we do need to act, and we need to act now. Sarah, the kayaks!
dry land, it's right there. Megan, are you with me? Oh, this way. This way. Where? Survival BS. Neither did I. Why couldn't you have done the shoot on like like a beach or like a palm tree or something? You know, originally we talked about doing this in a pool. Are you kidding me? What happened? You know, Jason, I always gotta push the limits. Well, after this. I am no longer pushing my limits. I'm only working on dry land and preferably close to a place where I can get a drink. Sure I can't interest you in a three-week editorial shoot through polar bear country? That was next up on our to-do list. Hey, uh, do you mind handing me that knife? I'll cut both of our wrist. <laughs> All right, you ready to keep it moving? Sharks are attracted to vibrations, right? Maybe they're attracted to our paddling. So maybe if we stand still, they won't find us. So we can make it. You know what? I'm not going to make it. I'll stay with you. 
Hey, I'll stay with you. Okay, hold there. If we tie our kayaks together, we can make one shape in the water. It'll make us look bigger, not, not like something that that thing can eat, okay? I'm gonna hold on to this. Catch this. This will hopefully buy us enough time to rest, and then we can just make it to that island. into something it can't see.
Sarah, this is me, calling in to check with you. I hope you're hanging in tight. Air Patrol has a decent lock on your position there. It's a ballpark estimate because they don't have enough cell towers out there to triangulate your, your, your location, but once they get in the air, they should be able to pick you out. We're checking on the outer islands, okay? So call me back. Call me back, honey. Call me back. Sarah, honey, listen, I hope you're safe. I wanted to let you know that the helicopter is up in the air. Marine patrol is sinking with the Coast Guard. All the hands are on the deck to get you home. I wanted to give you some good news. Right now, where you're at is experiencing what they call the king tides. It's a phenomenon having to do with the moon being at its pedigree. The part of Florida where you're at, it can get to real bad. It's a full moon tonight, and when the tide comes in, there's a chance there won't be any dry land left in the entire basin. It'll flood all the little islands until the keys on the outer edge of the Florida Bay. Do whatever you can to find the highest ground and wait it out. I've always said that I would go through hell and high water to keep you safe. Now I know you've been through hell, and now you're gonna have to go through high water, okay? Hang in there, honey. Hang in there because help us on the way. Okay? Your dad loves you. I'm sorry. I know. I knew. Jason never stopped loving me. I didn't even want to come on this gig. I didn't want to come on this gig because I knew he was still in love with you, and I know you guys broke up. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been with him if you guys were still together. You may not have loved him, but I did. And now he's gone. This is not what I wanted. God damn it, this is not what I planned. I wanted a, a white picket fence. I wanted, I wanted a dog. I, I wanted, Jason, you had everything and you threw it all away. I think you should know. This is not what I planned for my life either. I'm not going down by shark. I didn't want to go down then. I can tell you one thing. This, right here, all of this, this is not it. And I don't want to be laying down in some hospital bed, tied up to machines with tubes coming out of every hole in my body, just, just dwindling while my family watches. I don't wanna be sitting there, trying to find something to say to make it all better. I wanna be 100 years old and surrounded by grandchildren. I want to keep drinking 
The best mug of tea you've ever had in your entire life. That's how I'm gonna go back. <laughs> you wanna die by tea? Yeah. I think dying by tea sounds really nice right about now. I thought tea extended your life. No. Talking about sweet tea. Oh. The sugar. That that means good for you. The sugar, I don't approach this bad. It's bad for you. You have a problem with sugar. Yeah, I have a problem with sugar. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know if we can be friends after uh, this. Mom, what are you talking about? Is that how she? Cancel. The time they caught it, there wasn't much we could do. But sit and watch. After that is when Jason and I decided to split. I need you to know that I did love him. Yeah, I did. But I wasn't in love with him. And watching my mom... It just made me reevaluate everything. It made me realize that that wasn't fair to him. It wasn't fair to, to keep him in that when I knew that there was someone that could love him better. Someone like you. And that's why when I saw him today, it's you. And and he was smiling and he was laughing like a real Jason laugh. I was happy for him. I was, I was happy for him. That is, that's what he deserves. That's what he deserves. How did you do that? 
whoever said watching random YouTube videos was stupid is wrong. <laughs> underwater what are we gonna do if this whole thing goes underwater um we still have the kayaks i'm not getting back into that water i think you were onto something with with the the movement thing we can just minimize our movement and, and stick to the shallow areas that thing is right next to shore i know that but you're not helping okay right now i need you to look at the bright side yeah and what is that we're not dead yet. Oh, right. Yeah, we're not dead yet. We're just stranded on an island. A shark's trying to hunt us. The seaplane can't find us. And now the island is flooding. What next? Shark's just gonna turn into a tornado? I can't do this anymore, Sarah. Yeah, hello, Sarah. Dad, Dad. Yeah, it's me. How are you doing? Yes, we're fine, but I just saw a chopper. It was a, it was a single engine chopper. I think it was them. Well, that was it. That's great. And can you give me more information about the flyby? That'll help me figure out where exactly you are. So they flew right over us. They flew right over us um, um, to, the, to the east and way north, Dad, way north. Well, that's helpful. They've been searching on the other islands, and they're expanding from there. No, 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 we didn't, we didn't go to Kujo Key, Dad. No, we're on this, we're on this new, this new island. Jason said it, it just formed in, in the hurricane. It just formed like a month ago. I don't even think it's on the maps. You must be south, southwest of the search area. I'll have them modify their search grid. If you can keep your phone on, we might be able to get a better lock on your new location. Okay, fine. We may not be able to stay here long. The water's rising. Okay. Then stay calm. Stay calm. Your area is experiencing the peak of what they call king tides. You know about king tides? Yes, I know about king tides. They're higher than normal. That's right. Much higher. Unfortunately, that area you're in can be particularly hard hit. It's the equivalent of experiencing a storm surge. But it's with the tide alone. It's not based on weather, but the phase of the moon. Stats tell me all the islands out there may be overwhelmed. Hello. Are you still there? Yes. Do you still have your kayaks? Yes, we have the kayaks, Dad, but... Listen. I know this is going to be difficult, and I wish I could be there with you. But you and Megan have done great so far. Keep up what you've been doing. It's been keeping you both alive. Dad. Be honest with me. If they don't find us by sundown, are you guys going to sit in the search? We will find you, honey. We will find you. I know. I know that you won't give up, Dad, but these tides are as powerful as you say, and... And if you guys have to suspend the search, I just want you to know that we try. The spotter helicopter will find you. I just want you to know that I love you. And I went out fighting. Stay on the line. I'm not going to let you down. I've never done that before, have I? Civil Air Patrol, Darren speaking. Hello, it's James Murray. 
I'm just off the phone with my daughter. We have a new data set for her cell phone's forensics. I had her on the line for approximately three minutes. We need to expand the search from our initial grid. I have new information on her location. Our initial search area, I believe, was incorrect. They traveled to a new location, another island. With the king tides, the water is rising fast. Stand by. I'll get right back to you. Copy that. I'll get back to you soon. I talked to Fish and Wildlife and the NOAA Fisheries Southeast Marine Mammal Standing Network Coordinator, and you are not going to believe this. Apparently, a pod of pilot whales stranded and died on the outer shoals of Cujo Basin approximately two weeks ago. They tell me it was about 30 whales. If you had something to do with the hurricane, no one knows. They were stranded and died in the shallow water. Standard operating procedures when something like that happens out there in such a remote area is to leave the carcasses to decay and return to nature, which the NOAA confirms they did. So there are whale carcasses in the water down there? There were whale carcasses. It gets complicated. Apparently, NOAA began receiving reports from boaters and fishermen of a massive great white shark feeding on the whale's remains. It was reported to be a six-meter shark. Great Whites are seasonal visitors to the Keys. It is unusual for something like this to show up in that area on the backside of the Keys. Well, sure, but if there's something drawing it in, like a pot of dead whales. Right. So after the reports of the large shark feeding in the area, NOAA decided to remove the carcasses from the water in hopes that the shark would leave. And that didn't happen. Well, they did remove the carcasses, but the shark didn't leave. Does this explain the shark's behavior? I put in a call to Mote Marine Laboratory. They have a few theories on what is going on with the shark. Sharks are opportunistic feeders, and finding something like a whale is a rare opportunity. When they find a large source of food, such as whale carcasses, the shark's appetite expands to take advantage of that bounty. Encountering a dead whale for a shark is a rare opportunity in the expansion of appetite is a natural way for the shark to take advantage of an abundant food supply while it lasts. It turbocharges their appetites. This allows the shark to go from feast to famine and survive periods when it cannot find food, kind of like lying at a kill. When it has to, it can eat many times more food than normal. And this keeps it going through lean times. So the presence of the whale carcasses increases the, the shark's appetite. And when they removed the whales, instead of driving the shark away, they left the shark with a supersized appetite looking for prey. That's one of the theories, and it makes sense to me. The biologists surmise that the shark may have become more aggressive in a territorial manner. It may have had to drive off other predators from the whale carcasses. If it's going after the kayaks, it could be defending its territory. The last theory is what they call a rogue shark. This is a shark that, for whatever reason, goes on a spree of attacks. There is historical pretense for this. A few instances where a single shark made multiple attacks. It's rare, but it happens. 
Well, it sounds like it could be a combination of both. We gotta find them and get them off the water. And then make sure we're searching for the right area. I know there are a lot of islands out there, but based on their original position, I think we've been searching the wrong area. I know what the forensics have been saying. But Sarah told me they paddled out to a brand new sandbar. Listen, these sandbars change. New ones form, and old ones disappear. I don't think that they were at any of the ones that we have on our maps. Copy that. Right now, we're pushing the limit on our flying time out here. We can do a redirect depending on where you tell me. That would involve a refueling. If that were to happen, we'd have to go back to the airstrip to refuel, which would not allow us enough daylight to finish our search. Are they still out over the Cujo Basin? I mean, I think they can manage this without refueling. Copy that. It's your decision. You do know if we run out of fuel, that'll be the end of the search for today. All right, I got you. Listen, now they said they saw your helicopter. You can't be too far off. Copy. What is your redirect? I want you to change the search grid, OK? We need to look on the same line, but further south. If you only have fuel enough to search one more place, then this would be it. If this information's incorrect, it's on you. Sir, this is my daughter out there. If this is a rogue shark attack, like you say, we don't have time to waste. So please change your search grid to the coordinates that follow. Yeah, hello. Let's not get 
got your message. Why can't you land in there? I just picked them up. That's a negative. There's too many submerged reefs where they're at. How much is the draft on that helicopter? It's not the draft of the chopper, it's the water clarity. Right now, the visual is not clear enough for our pilot to choose a safe patch for landing. We're directing a boat to them now. How long is that gonna take? Should be under 10 minutes. Can you guys, in the helicopter, keep an eye on the shark? That's a negative. The spotter chopper has to refuel and return to base. Oh, come on! I'm sorry. If that chopper doesn't return to base now to refuel, it may not make it back. Let me know the minute that the boat reaches them. They're gonna come back, Megan. They're not gonna leave us here. How do we know they're gonna come back? Stay calm. They're going to come back. Trust me. Where's it going? Where's it going? Where's it going?
Now you're quite on the phone. Sarah, Sarah, are you are you are you there? I'm here, Dad. All right, thank God. Thank God. Are you hurt? Are you okay? Okay, we're okay. We're fine. All right, good. Listen. Our paramedics are going to be meeting you at the docks, okay? I know you're a tough cookie, but they're going to have to check you over. I'm catching the red eye over tonight. I'll be seeing you as soon as I get there. Listen, you did good, honey. Just like I knew you would. Your mom will be proud of you. Studio. Okay, honey. Okay. I don't know. I think maybe I could pick up the brush again. I think that could be good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whatever you want. It's all right with me. Whatever you want. You just let me know. I love you, honey. Uh, I love you too, Dad. I love you too. Can you still hear me? All right, honey, listen, I love you. I love you very, very much, more than you'll ever know. Okay, and I'm glad you're okay. All right, bye-bye. to do your makeup again, I, uh, I'm gonna have to say no. And it's nothing personal. Like, you're, you're great. It's just, I can never, ever do this again. I think New Mexico would be a great place for you. Georgia O'Keefe used to live there. <laughs> and um, she would sit there and she would just paint. And I think the moment you'd get there, you would never ever want to leave. <laughs> and you want to know the best part about New Mexico? No water. No ocean. No lake. It's just dry. Sounds great. I'm in. I am totally.
Crawl the city burns to light the raging sky.